Hey man, if you are at all curious about learning the best ways to naturally decrease your refractory period so that you get rock hard much faster so you can go for that second, third, fourth, fifth, or even more round, then you're gonna wanna pay very close attention to this video. I'm Xander Holt, the primal sex expert. And today I'm gonna show you a very unique and little known way of getting at the root of having refractory periods that are way too long. So you are not just treating the symptoms, but are actually getting at the source so you have a real solution for the long term and can have shorter refractory periods and get rock hard again much quicker for the rest of your life. You see, the reason most men fail at shortening their refractory period so that they can go for that second round much quicker is that they don't understand the full ecosystem that is behind their erections. That's where the impact point matrix or IPM that we have developed over many years here at Rock Hard for Life is so damn powerful because it shows how this ecosystem all works together and how to best address what is specifically causing your erection, premature ejaculation, and long refractory period issues. If you look around the triangle of the impact point matrix, you will see what we call the core alpha inhibitors. These modern day alpha inhibitors are what block modern men from experiencing their birthright of having consistent stage four rock hard er erections, regardless of how many times they have ejaculated in a sexual situation. Over on the left bottom corner of IPM, you will see the core alpha inhibitor called EBAI, which is the erection biochemicals alpha inhibitor. This EBAI core alpha inhibitor is usually for most men, the primary core alpha inhibitor that is causing them to experience long refractory periods. So with this in mind, I'm about to dive deep into the EBAI core alpha inhibitor and show you how it's affected by the IPM ecosystem. But before I do that, it's very important to understand that a long refractory period can be a bit complicated and it could definitely be affected by the other core alpha inhibitors. That's why if you truly want to fully understand and get at the root of long refractory periods, it's very important to deeply understand the other core alpha inhibitors so that you can truly master your erections and overcome long refractory periods for the long term. That's why for a very limited time, I am offering a free training on deeply understanding all of the core alpha inhibitors so you can fully master your erections and refractory period. So go ahead and click the link in the description below because it will open up this very powerful core alpha inhibitor training in a whole separate browser window and won't interrupt your training here at all. That way, after this video is over, you won't forget to take this life-changing training. Now, let's dive deep into EBAI, the Erection Biochemicals Alpha Inhibitor. So why is EBAI usually the core alpha inhibitor that is primarily responsible for a long refractory period? Well, when you ejaculate, your body gets flooded with a host of biochemicals that make it much more difficult to get another erection. These biochemicals include prolactin, oxytocin, and somatostatin. These biochemicals have all been correlated to increasing a man's refractory period, making it very difficult to sometimes impossible to get that second erection. We can see on the impact point matrix that erection biochemicals are deeply tied to the gut, testicles, hormonal factors, and pleasure. You will also notice that the production of erection biochemicals is also heavily determined by how relaxed the body is. If the body is in fight or flight mode, which is controlled by the sympathetic nervous system, then erection biochemicals are suppressed. But if the body is in rest and reproduce mode, which is, in, which is controlled by the parasympathetic nervous system, then erection biochemicals are boosted. So what does that mean for shortening your refractory period? 
To answer that question, we need to look at each of these three biochemicals that are released when we ejaculate. First of all, let's look at somatostatin. Somatostatin is a hormone that is released during ejaculation and inhibits the production of growth hormone. So one way to help shorten your refractory period is to naturally stimulate the production of growth hormone and overcome the somatostatin. There are several simple ways we can do that in a sexual situation. Fasting has been shown to be one of the most powerful ways to boost growth hormone. So if you go into the sexual situation on an empty stomach, sometimes that can be a big help to shortening your refractory period. It has also been shown that the combination of the amino acids, acids arginine and lysine help to significantly boost growth hormone levels. Multi-collagen protein has significant amounts of both arginine and lysine, and it has the added benefit of healing the gut. And gut health is critical for having great sexual vitality. So taking some simple multi-collagen protein can help a lot with shortening your refractory period. And alpha GPC, a special type of fat found in foods such as eggs, cheese, yogurt, and milk, has been shown to significantly boost HDH, which can help a lot with shortening your refractory period. And alpha GPC can also be taken as a supplement that has the added benefit of boosting mental clarity as well. Next, we are gonna look at both oxytocin and prolactin, as the strategies for lowering these biochemicals are interrelated. First of all, oxytocin is a very important biochemical, as it both helps us feel bonded to our partner, as well as increases our orgasmic intensity. You may have noticed that sometimes when you go for that second round, the orgasm is even more intense than the first round. This increased level of oxytocin is likely responsible for this. However, oxytocin is also highly correlated with having a longer refractory period. So one of the best ways of lowering it is to avoid any cuddling with your partner until after you're done going for additional rounds. Now it's very important to cuddle with your partner after sex as that bonds the two of you. But the key here is to do that after you're done with sex. Do cuddling after you're done going for additional erections. Because cuddling greatly increases oxytocin, which is great for bonding, but not so good for shortening your refractory period. So what should you do instead? Well, that brings us to prolactin which skyrockets right after you ejaculate. You see, prolactin and dopamine have an inverse relationship. That means when you ejaculate, your prolactin levels skyrocket and your dopamine levels plummet. But the reverse is also true. When your dopamine levels skyrocket, your prolactin levels plummet. So what is the best ways to get your dopamine levels up? by greatly increasing your arousal levels. When you increase arousal and novelty, you significantly increase your dopamine levels and thus decrease your prolactin levels. So instead of cuddling with your partner between rounds, get more erotic and dirty with your sex. Make the next round more exciting and novel. Have her put on a sexy wig or a sexy little short skirt do role playing and act out very erotic fantasies that really turn the both of you on. If she's into it, try some bondage, like tying her up, if that is arousing for the both of you. Whatever it is that turns the both of you on, go for it. Because the more aroused you get, the shorter your refractory period tends to be. You will also notice on the impact point matrix that the EBAI core alpha inhibitor is surrounded by two primary epigenetic signalers, REM and movement. The majority of your erection biochemicals are produced in REM sleep. 
If you get a great night's sleep, your body produces so much more erection biochemicals that it tends to naturally make your refractory period much shorter. Also with movement, in particular high intensity interval training, which greatly increases growth hormone. This increase in growth, growth hormone tends to naturally make your refractory period shorter. But as I said at the beginning of this video, the refractory period is a little more complicated and can actually be affected by a host of other factors on the impact point matrix, like immersion, blood vessel factors, nervous system factors, psychological factors, sexual vitality, and sexual power, all of which are tied to different core alpha inhibitors. When you deeply understand all the core alpha inhibitors, then you can truly master your refractory period, erections, and premature ejaculation. That's why I've included in the description of this video, or possibly somewhere on this video, depending on where you're watching it, a link to a very powerful training on all the core alpha inhibitors so you can finally master your refractory period, lasting power, and erections. And I've been getting amazing feedback from guys saying it's the best training on ED and erection boosting they've ever seen. And I'm currently offering it for free for a limited time. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell button because I have a lot more videos coming out on the impact point matrix and how you can use it to help get the hardest, longest lasting erections of your life. And you don't want to miss that. Also, if you've had, if you've used strategies yourself to overcome your refractory period being too long, please post those in the comments below. All right. I will see you in the next video. Now go be a beast.